Nvidia has just announced its next iteration of the DLSS technology, DLSS 3.5, which utilizes artificial intelligence for better ray trace scenes and better frames per second. While DLSS 3.0 was exclusive to the 40 series RTX cards, DLSS 3.5 will be compatible with all RTX GPUs, so how does that even work? Let's find out. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. So, at this point, DLSS offers multiple AI technologies that gamers can select independently in DLSS 3 compatible games. To name a few, we have AI upscaling that was introduced with DLSS 2, frame generation with DLSS 3, and now ray reconstruction with DLSS 3.5. As we already know, frame generation is exclusive to the 40 series RTX cards, and now that Nvidia is saying DLSS 3.5 will be available on all GPUs, how will that work? Well, DLSS 3.5 includes all three AI features that we have mentioned earlier, and RTX 20 and 30 series cards will only support AI upscaling and ray reconstruction. Frame generation will still be exclusive to the 40 series RTX cards though. Now, let's take a deep dive into this new ray reconstruction technology. Simply put, Nvidia has introduced DLSS 3.5 for branding their latest ray reconstruction technology. This intriguing feature likely involves using AI to reconstruct ray trace scenes, which could substantially enhance the realism of lighting and reflections in virtual environments. While the version numbering might suggest an incremental update, AI ray reconstruction is a completely separate feature within the in-game settings. Nvidia is directing its focus towards integrating DLSS 3.5 into games that emphasize path tracing, commonly referred to as full ray tracing. This is in contrast to titles that use ray tracing selectively, such as for specific elements like shadows or reflections. An upcoming DLC for Cyberpunk 2077 called Phantom Liberty, set to release on September 26th, will include DLSS 3.5 support. This DLC will also introduce the previously showcased path tracing feature. Similarly, DLSS 3.5 and full ray tracing will be integrated into the launch of Alan Wake 2 on October 27th. Furthermore, the game portal with RTX will also receive an upgrade to DLSS 3.5 during the upcoming fall season. And so far, what we gotta see from Nvidia's demo, the in-game details do look much sharper compared to traditional ray tracing. And the most impressive part is that the inclusion of an AI in ray construction has also improved the FPS count that often took a dip in previous ray tracing technologies. While Nvidia is taking its upscaling technology to the next level, is AMD gonna sit idle and do nothing about it? As it turns out, they are rumored to unveil the next iteration of Fidelity FX FSR3 in the week's Gamescom event. It will possibly launch alongside Starfield which is scheduled for September and we're really excited to see what they have in store for us. And that's pretty much it about Nvidia's DLSS 3.5. We'll be back again with more updates and performance comparisons as soon as FSR 3 arrives in the arena. Till then, stay tuned.